going on my peeps and welcome back to another one. Now before we get into this week's recipe, I have a couple huge announcements that I need to let you guys know. Number one, I've just recently made, and some of you guys have already found this, a second channel. It's called More David. I'm going to be posting vlogs and extras and different types of videos and my first Q&A. So go over there and subscribe if you want so you don't miss it. It'll be the first link in the top of the description. Number two, and I've been hinting at this for the longest time, I will have an upload for you guys in three days on Sunday. This Sunday's video has taken me over a week to film and I'm just trying to get ahead because I have some trips coming up, school's about to get harder, and I just didn't want to promise you guys a video if I didn't know I was going to be able to have it up. And finally, number three, I mentioned this before. A long time ago I asked you guys for questions for a Q&A and I never got around to doing it. I have no idea what video that was on, so if you have any questions that you want me to answer, leave them down in the comments and I'll do as many as I possibly can. Anyways, this week we are going to be trying the taco pie recipe suggested by tons and tons of people. I am extremely excited for this one, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, this recipe has quite a few steps, so we are going to start with the construction of the crust. And for that you're going to need flour, salt, water, butter, and plastic cheese, I mean American cheese. I really don't like this stuff. Anyways, let's get started. In either your blender or your food processor, take half a stick of butter, which is about a quarter cup, and cut that up into cubes. Then throw down a quarter teaspoon of salt, three slices of American cheese, a cup of flour, and start mixing that together. Once it starts seeming like it's going to come together, you're going to throw in a couple teaspoons of water and continue to do that and mixing it until you get this cottage cheese type rice crispy looking thing. Once you reach that stage, you are going to throw that out on your countertop and roll that out like a dough. It should be super pliable but not easily breakable, and that should be good right there. Now you're going to throw that into your pan, flatten it out, and then cut off the excess around the sides. We're also going to pre-bake this in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes until the edges get nice and crispy like this. Now we're going to start working on the filling. So grab yourself an onion, dice that up until you get a half cup. You are then going to throw that down into a pan with a pound of chopped meat or minced meat or hamburger meat, whatever you like to call this, and keep that over medium to high heat until it browns all the way around. Also, they didn't show this in their video, but I'm pretty sure you're going to have to drain all this water and grease. So drain that out to the best of your ability, and then you're going to add a half cup of salsa and a full packet of taco seasoning. Allow that two to three more minutes to simmer all together, and we're ready to construct our pie. So grab your crust, throw down a couple pieces of this insanely fake cheese, then a nice big layer of your meat. In the video, they topped it off with a layer of refried beans, but that ain't happening around here. I just skipped that step and moved on to the next layer of American cheese. And since we clearly don't have enough cheese already, we are going to top that off with some shredded cheddar cheese. I then threw that back into the oven until the cheese all melts down. And while that was doing so, I grabbed myself a cupcake mold, threw the extra dough in there, and then constructed miniature little cupcake tacos. I made it exactly like I did with the big version, and these things came out looking pretty cool. And finally, we are going to top our large one with some chopped up lettuce, some tomatoes, some sour cream, a little more shredded cheese, and voila. And this thing's looking pretty dope. I'd say exactly like BuzzFeed's too. Let's give it a try. All right, peeps, here's the big moment. Let me try to get a piece of everything here. I am okay, I'm all right. So let me just tell you, the meat part, spot on. The spice and the onion and everything else is like, perfect levels. The cheese and all the other toppings on top are also good, but the best part of this and the part I was most skeptical about is the crust. Since I pre-cooked it and got it nice and crispy all the way around, it tastes exactly like cheese hits. If any of you guys like those and like tacos, man, is this thing for you. Mm. That thing's good, man. Thank God, because I needed an episode like this. I don't remember the last time I gave this out or if I ever have given one out, but 10 out of 10, good job. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash a like on this for me. Like I said at the beginning, don't forget to go over to my second channel and subscribe and leave a question in the comments for me to answer in my Q&A. And look out for this Sunday's video because it's a pretty good one. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome week. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Peace.
Peace.